Surtees came to Cycle Week to oversee this unique Battle of the Twins entrant, the Quantel Sports Cosworth. This handcrafted piece of British exotica utilizes a monocoque frame and is powered by an 820cc Cosworth twin. The steering head and frame weigh 14 and a half pounds. Add up gobs of smooth power, lightweight steering, and the latest in British technology, and you've got the Quantel Cosworth. Well, it's, uh, it's fantastic to ride, really. It's, uh, it's like a tractor compared to the Grand Prix bikes. It makes power from sort of five and a half thousand right up to 11,000. So uh, it's, uh, it's quite stable. And uh, with the, uh, the added uh, bonus of uh, being the same geometry as my Grand Prix racer, it's, uh, it's quite good to ride. In the early going of the 75-mile Battle of the Twins event, Lewis unleashed the Cosworth's power and put the Quantel creation into the lead. It had been a long time since a British import had led at Daytona. Marco Lucanelli and Jimmy Adamo muscled their factory Kajiva Ducatis up to battle Lewis for the lead. Former world champion Lucanelli was soon long gone, leaving his American teammate Adamo to duke it out with Lewis. The two exchanged haymakers, which resulted in a TKO for Lewis as Adamo was sent to the pavement. Adamo escaped serious injury and was up right away. Lewis suffered a hairline fracture in his left foot and continued on in pain to finish second. Third went to last year's BOTT winner, Gene Church and his Harley Davidson. Church and his Harley were no match for the exotic Kajiva Ducati and Cosworth. In the end, it was a big win for Lucanelli, who came out of semi-retirement to run the Daytona event. Look for Lucanelli to enter the four-wheel arena in the near future. As for the Australian Lewis, the fractured foot did not sour his initial impression of Daytona. I like it. I love everything about it, the track, the people, the weather, you know, and, uh, and if I can come back, I'll be here, preferably on a superbike. Okay.